In other news, Common Core is once again socially engineering our children to be complete idiots. I mean, that's just basically what's going on. I see these stories now more and more frequently every single day as parents are posting their children's homework online and social networks because they just cannot believe how stupid this stuff is and what little common sense is being used anymore. I guess common sense is just completely extinct because we have stuff like this where students don't get the answers right. This is the thing. You can put the right answer. It's mathematically correct, but it's not right because you didn't do it in some convoluted, ridiculous, common core way that only makes sense to, I guess, the five people who wrote it. You know how they say it was state-led? Well, it wasn't. It was actually only written by a grand total of about five people and massively funded by Bill Gates and his foundation. Uh, but this is what's going on. This is a new one, a second grader's math homework. Basically, the problem was subtract 270 from 530. And so the kid did it, wrote the right answer. Teacher was like, no, that's not the Common Core, quote, friendly answer. Because in Common Core, you can't just subtract a number from a number and get the answer. That makes too much sense. That's too easy. That's too logical. And that would be actually, you know, the basic arithmetic skills that we need when we do math. We don't want that. We don't want kids to have that. What you got to do is some convoluted extra process where you add a bunch of steps that are worthless and don't help you and then just confuse small children and make their brains want to explode into a pile of goo that leaks out of their ears. The kid was supposed to add 30 to both numbers first then subtract them because that makes them friendlier. So it was supposed to be you add 30 to 530 to get 560, you add 30 to 270 to get 300, then you subtract 300 from 560, then you get the right answer, and that's the friendly answer. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. That's just stupid. Why would you do that? Why would anyone do that? Why would anyone go, you know, I'm trying to do some basic math. I think I'm going to add like 17 steps to get to the right answer. It just doesn't make any freaking sense. It's ridiculous. And so now we're teaching second graders this. Second graders who are having probably a hard enough time as it is just learning the basic skills as they are. And I've written about this before it came out. This lady, this lady here, she's awesome. You should go watch her whole presentation. I'll play a clip in a second, but she's great. She went and gave a presentation at the Arkansas Board of Education where she made them figure out a math problem. And they did it the way you would, the actual way. Are you smarter than a common core fourth grader? Mr. Yamada's class has 18 students. If the class counts around by a number and ends with, num with 90, what number did they count by? Does anyone on the board have an answer? Five. And may I ask, madam, uh, how did you come up with that answer? Oh, why? Because that's what makes sense, right? That's the way we were taught to do it in the fourth grade level. This, however, is what the Common Core standards expect our fourth graders to do. If they solve it in those two steps, they get it marked wrong. They are expected to draw 18 circles with 90 hash marks, solving this problem in exactly 108 steps. And she was like, nope, if this was Common Core, you'd be wrong because you have to draw like a hundred circles and do some stupid diagram thing and stuff that no one ever does. No one ever does. No one does that. If I go to the grocery store and I'm going to buy a jug of milk and a loaf of bread, I'm going to add the price of the bread to the price of the milk. I'm going to add those together. I'm not going to stand there in the middle of the grocery store aisle and pull out a piece of paper and draw a bunch of circles on it, make a big diagram and add numbers. <laughs> I'm trying not to laugh because this is so ridiculous. Who would do that? Nobody would do that. Why are we teaching our kids this? Because this is what's going on. These kids are throwing up. They're wetting themselves in the middle of state-led tests with the Common Core. They're actually peeing and vomiting in class because these kids' brains are literally probably liquefying in their skulls while they try to do this ridiculous Common Core homework. I've written about this before. And they've, they've come out in the mainstream media and said that Common Core state standards are all sets of rules designed to guide and shape human behavior. And people will argue that's what any education is for, but they're guiding and shaping the behavior of small children to not have any common sense at all. 
to not be able to have basic common skills. It's beyond dumbing them down. It's not only dumbing them down, but it's making them a character in, like, the movie Brazil or something. Well, and these reports that we've had on the Common Core math stuff coming out are very much parallel to the stuff that happened with reading uh, throughout most of the last century. It was written about by Charlotte Isserby in her deliberate dumbing down of America book, in particular about what they did to reading. A method called look-say reading took over phonics and displaced phonics. Yeah, you remember the hooked on phonics commercials, maybe you, hopefully you learn something about phonics, but they replaced the old method of learning syllables and breakdown words and the different um, you know, prefixes and suffixes and what the letter sounds are and replaced it with a method that was developed for deaf mutes. It's great that they have a method for deaf mutes, of course, but why did they start teaching it to everyone else? Well, Apparently, they wanted everyone to get gradually stupider. Here with the math stuff, they're stripping arithmetic of its fundamentals and breaking it down to methods that are just basically making hash marks on paper, which has its place in everything, but kids need to learn the fundamentals if they're going to learn anything. It's a wonder this much math has survived anyway with calculators and more and more technology, but this is not going to help things. This is not going to help them think critically. I mean, think about this. This is a seven-year-old who just got the answer right, and his teacher is telling him that he is wrong. Even though, mathematically and commonsensically, this kid is correct. Logically, he got the right answer. He was able to apply the skills of arithmetic and arrive at the correct answer in the smallest number of steps. But his teacher's telling him he's wrong and changing how his brain functions. Do you, do you see what's happening? And they're doing this to kids all over the country. One last thing I just wanted to point out. Put a link to this in the video description. 10 terrible Common Core homework assignments. Check, check these out. Read through them. Just the first one alone will be enough to creep you out. Um, but it says here, a mother from Rhode Island commented, I went to elementary school in Poland during communism, and this is exactly what I was forced to learn. Okay? They want compliant, obedient citizenry. And it's not just obedient, it's stupid citizenry.